Hello everyone, my name is Heather Moorfield Lang and this is my YouTube channel Tech15 and today I'm going to be talking to you about a very easy to use but quite sassy tool called Rewordify. Now if you're not familiar with this site, this is a site that allows you to take harder to read or difficult language sites that are online, take any passage from those sites at this point in time, it is in English and take those sites, passages from those sites. It does not matter the amount, put them into rewordify and anything that has harder to read language, it actually takes the language and improve, not improves it per se, but makes a little bit difficult English reading easier to read for faster comprehension. This site also aids in teaching words for better vocabulary. It saves time and it also improves as they request or as they tout improves learning outcomes. Now you can use this site completely on its own, one off, one time. You can just plug your information in or you can log in and you can save the text that you have been using so far. You can actually build vocabulary banks and you can do all different types of stuff. So let me show you how this works. There's no software to install. It's completely free. It's up to you how far you would like to use this. But the whole point of this is it's very plug and play. You grab the text that you would like to simplify. It makes reading easier. You may love this site. You may be like, nope, my students need to figure out these words on their own, but it already does that. It helps them to build up their vocabulary because when you're reading text from scholarly articles, medical journals, when you're reading books from nonfiction areas, when you're reading material from a more historic background, some of those things are very difficult for our students to read. If I'm reading outside of my field, I'm not sure what all of the words mean and I'm a full grown adult. And so it's very easy for us to not know what every word is. And this helps break down what might be called difficult words. So what I've done is I've gone over to PubMed, which is a tool for us to be able to look for uh, over 26 million citations in the field of medical, um, the world of medical books, citations, journals, and they have quite a few books and materials available to us openly. And then what I have done is I've gone in here and I have looked for an article on teen smoking. I figured that was pretty easy. And I have highlighted the introduction. This is just the introduction to an article about teen smoking. And this is family talks about smoking, new directions for assessing parent teen communications about smoking. By the way, it has seven authors, just the introduction. Smoking experimentation represents transient risk taking for some youth, whereas for others, it is the onset of a chronic smoking trajectory. Sure, that's the type of language I use every day. I don't know about you guys in elementary, middle and high school. This might be difficult for our students to read. That's just the introduction. So if a student of yours was doing a project on teen smoking or youth smoking, they might want to know what it is they were reading. So they could very easily grab this introduction, copy and paste. Let's go over to Rewordify. We can plug it into, and they can use any web page, any text. They can just grab it, plug it in, copy and paste, and then you Rewordify the text. So here's the original text here in the yellow box and up top, it has now broken down smoking while trying new things out, testing new ideas scientifically. And when you click on the yellow, this says that this experimentation word is what they consider a more difficult word. So it actually breaks down the definition for experimentation. So it says smoking experimentation, trying new things out represents short lived transient transient is another word for short-lived risk-taking for some youth whereas for others it is the beginning i don't say beginning is that difficult or well no beginning is not because that's the word for onset of a long lasting it has defined that for chronic smoking in an arc-like path trajectory arc-like path or trajectory i would argue are both kind of difficult words but you can see how this works it has gone through and it has broken down this first paragraph that i have shown you as an example and you can do as much as you'd like it actually will do a point system it'll tell you how many hard words how many would you like to learn it will handpick words for you it'll do all sorts of things
Now, you have the option to log in. You can create an account. You can also do multiple things. You can learn new words. You can actually set this up so that you can reword it completely. You can actually have the style in line so where it will show you the hard word, quote unquote, with the easier word beside of it, which could be a little off-putting to folks that might be a little too much for the eye. It depends on what type of reader you are. You can also do it in two columns. So you can set this up any way that you wish. It is completely up to you. You can do it side by side. So some folks like that. You can teach more and type less. You can actually do word banks and vocabulary lists. You can do all sorts of things. So I highly recommend checking out Rewordify because it does a lot of really neat stuff. Completely ad-free completely free, period. A really neat tool, incredibly simply simple to use, and something that I just really like for what it does. Again, you may not like this. You may not like any of the 60 tools that I have introduced over the past two years here in uh, Tech 15, but it's an option. It's an idea. And for our students and how they learn, this might be a really useful tool in aiding them as they're reading, doing research. I could find this very useful for anything outside of my field. Sometimes I'm just like, guys, I, if you're in medicine or some of the social sciences areas or policy, there's just some things I have to do stuff with law sometimes in librarianship. I don't know. Those aren't my fields. And so there are things I don't know. And I have no problem admitting that. And so this could be a very useful tool for many of us, youth or adult. So I hope this is something that you might find useful. As always, thank you so much for watching. Take care. I will have more videos for you soon. Have a great day.